Hi everyone, Leanne here from Jada Blossom and I'm going to go over our brand new Gnome Dyes Winter Add-ons. Hey, so I'm using the brand new Gnome Dyes Winter Add-ons and you're going to want either the Gnome Dyes or the Girl Gnome Dyes to put these together, um, preferably both. Okay, so first of all, I cut out the background in white paper tray and cardstock and then I'm going to label, um, layer the beard and the mustache. Those are both cut out of white paper tray and cardstock. And you'll see that I've got the hat, black hat cut out of black paper tray and cardstock. And you have to trim off the original hat on the, on the shadow and then you can line that up. Remember that you always start with the beard with the boys. Okay, now I'm adding on a pure poppy headband or hat band that I cut out using uh, the die with that. There we go. Now I'm going to add the shoes. The shoes are also uh, cut out of that true black paper tray and card stock. So I'm popping those on. I'm using paper, um, uh, what's it called? Art glitter glue and Stampin' Up Dimensionals. I'm going to add the mustache, that same paper tray and white card stock. There you go. I'm working on a Stampin' Up pad. All my die cutting today was done with my Gemini machine as per usual. Now this is a little piece of post tape. I'm just taping it down so I can color in this little, um, carrot nose and I'm coloring it in with a Copic YR09 and I just cut that out of white cardstock as well. So there we go. I've got my two little uh, stick arms. Those were cut out of American Crafts cardstock in brown. And I'm just going to stick those down with some art glitter glue. So you're building kind of like a little snowman with your gnome which is kind of fun. Then you pop up his little nose. I'm using some dimensionals. Now you could glue it flat if you wanted to but I'm popping it up. So there you have it, using reverse tweezers, like I said. I can't remember, did I say a Studio Catty embellishment wand? Yeah. Now I used two colors of brown from American Crafts cardstock to make his little corn cob pipe. And then I will pop up the, the end and then I'm going to glue down the stem of it in his little mouth there. There you go, isn't that cute? It's just the cutest darn little snowman, eh? Now I'm adding on the three little coal buttons, also cut out of the black cardstock from Paper Tray Ink. So pretty easy using that Studio Katia embellishment one. Now I'm going to put together the sled. Um, the base of the sled was cut out of American Crafts like a dark gray cardstock. Then I used American Crafts silver foil cardstock for the, you know, for the, or the, uh, what are those called? The ski part of it, I guess. And then the little seat part is cut out of that same Paper Tray Ink pure poppy cardstock. And then I weighed it down. So isn't that the sweetest? And look at, you have your little snowman riding the sled. Okay, now I'm putting together my next one. I have the boy cut out again, and I cut out a beard in gray from American Cross Cardstock, and I'm going to add that down. Now remember, you always start with the beard. Now, this is the little Cousin Eddie hat from um, Christmas Vacation, or that's what it looks like. Too hilarious. Now that pattern paper is from Holiday Plaid Photo Play Pad, six inch pad. So I'm just going to add down that little hat with some art glitter glue, isn't that cute? And then the flap, um, I cut out of American Crafts Brown cardstock and I'm just gonna pop up the top of it and kind of glue the bottom of it, um, you know, um, to the hat, you know, so it has some dimension. So fun. So I'm just doing that. I'm just going to add the art glitter glue along the bottom and then I will stick that down. Isn't that the cutest thing? So you can make any kind of hat with flaps. There you go. And now I am popping up his little feet. And I did cut out black shoes again with um, Paper Tray Ink True Black cardstock. So nice and heavyweight. Now I'm going to add on his little mustache. That's that same American Crafts Great cardstock. I do overlap the hat a tiny little bit. I will pop up, pop up the nose. Now the, all the skin tones I cut out of our P13 stamping pad skin tones. Um, that, that you can get from scrapbook.com. I think that's the only place that sells it. I might be wrong, but that's where I get mine. So there you have it. Isn't that sweet? Just too darn cute. Okay, so now I'm putting together one more. So I've got an American Crafts beard in brown that I'm adding to this gnome, lining it up on my white base. I believe that's paper tray ink, white cardstock. There you go. Remember, like I said, it's always better to start with the beard. Okay, so now I'm going to put together this little toque. Cut it of um, paper tray ink white cardstock. There we go. Then I cut out the plaid. It's cut out of that same holiday plaid from Photoplay. 
Isn't that cute? And then the white is paper tray and white cardstock. So I'm just going to add that on. And then the little pom pom will be the same. Yeah, so you always start with the beard, then work your way up, right? Because the hats always match the top of the beard. So there you have it. Now I will pop up his little nose. Of course, I've got to get his mustache out first. There we go. I'm going to grab his little mustache. So I do stick his mustache down. Um, I thought I was going to stick it down flat, but I realized that th there was quite a few layers on that hat. So I just decided to add a li little uh, Stampin' Up! Dimensionals to the bottom of his mustache, just so everything's flat. There you have it. And then I do pop up his little nose. So cute. That's that P13 stamping pad. Cute little feet again from that same P13 stamping pad skin tones. Now, if you don't have this, you could easily... Um, take some Copic markers and color, you know, color white cardstock with a skin tone and cut out your feet. Okay, now I'm going to do use a little girl. So this is a little girl. I cut out the um, shadow layer with white paper tray and cardstock. Then I pulled out my I Love Winter pad from Echo Park and I cut out this little dress, which is so cute. And there we go. I'm going to pop up her little feet. Because remember, with the girl, you always start with the dress. So, And you know what? I'm lying about that paper that I used. That's not the correct paper. As I'm looking around for the pad. Where did it go? Oh, my goodness. Bad Leanne. Where the heck? I think, no, it's I Love Winter from oh no that is the same i love winter well anyway i will list it in the details i cannot find the pad as i'm doing this voiceover it is an echo park pad but like lord knows where i put it down must be that i'm losing my mind anyway sorry guys so i got distracted so um the pattern paper is from a pad that i will have listed in the details below this video okay so now i am i added the um the red is that pure poppy card straw from from paper tray ink the skin tones again is from that stamping pad p13 stamping pad skin tones as per usual but like i said you could literally color uh, with alcohol markers on any white paper and then cut your um, skin tones out and that would work just as well okay so now i'm using my stampin up dimensionals and i will pop up these cute little earmuffs with some adorable there we go with some stampin up dimensionals there you have it using my reverse tweezers isn't she cute look how sweet she is just adorable stuff. Okay, so now I'm going to put together the things they're holding. So first of all, this is a snowflake. And it's cut out of white um, paper tray and cardstock. And then I cut the glitter layer out of Simon Says Stamp white glitter paper. Now, be careful. This snowflake only fits in one direction. So I sort of fart around trying to get it straightened out. And I realized, geez, this, this really does go in one direction. So I suggest figure out which way it goes <laughs> and then lay them beside each other and glue them down. This, that's what I end up doing here. So I'm going to add my art glitter glue and then I will stick down my glittered snowflake. There we go. Easy once I realized what direction it went in. And I do weight it down in between. Now I'm going to take those little hands and pop them up with some Stampin' Up! Dimensionals. Again, those that, that's that P13 stamping pad skin tones using my uh, Studio Catty embellishment wand to pick them up. Isn't that cute? And there is a little, gut, little gnome holding a snowflake. So cute. So that's one. Next, I'm going to put together this little snowman. And I do color his little nose with that same YR09 Copic marker that was cut at a white paper tray and cardstock. So first, I cut the two back layers out of black paper tray ink cardstock then the front layer is white paper tray ink cardstock and I'm going to glue that down so you see that way you have the little eyes and the buttons in black right so cute and the hat you know is black because it already is black right now I'm adding on the little um, scarf and that is out of that same pure poppy paper tray ink cardstock and then I will stick down this adorable little nose right you can see the little black tip poking out on the on the shadow so you know where it goes and then I will pop up the little hands with some Stampin' Up! Dimensionals again so super cute stuff isn't that sweet and there is your adorable little snowman and there is the guy little gnome holding it so cute 
There you have it. Now, next I'm going to put together this adorable little cardinal. Now, all layers, all the red was cut out of that pure poppy cardstock again. So I'm just going to layer those up. Now, this, obviously, you could make this cardinal and um, just have it as an embellishment on your card without the hands, right? Okay, now the little face is cut out of paper tray ink black cardstock. There, I'm going to stick that down with my art glitter glue. And then I'm going to pop up the little wing with some Stampin' Up! Dimensionals. There you have it. And I do use some um, Nouveau Crystal Drops to add an eye to this later, just to make the eye a little bit more... I guess I could have left it red, but that, that bothered me. I couldn't leave it red, so... I used some black Nouveau Crystal Drops. There, isn't that sweet? Just adorable little cardinal. Adorable. There you have it. Okay, and now I'm going to put together this super cute glass um, mousse mug. Now, I decided to cut it out of cream American Crafts cardstock, and I'm just going to make this my eggnog in the cup, right? So I'm just trimming along on the stitch line. Now, you don't have to do this. You can just go ahead and build your cup how you'd like, but I kind of wanted it to have some eggnog in it, right? So first, I'll stick that down with some art glitter glue. I'm working on some vellum. There you have it. And then I will layer up that mousse. And I'm going to use glossy accents. I do decide to cover this whole glass in glossy accents afterwards just to give it a glassy look. There you go. Remember, any glue that you use with, um, with vellum, it's going to show through, right? So you're better off to hide glue if you can. Now I'm going to add the little muzzle on the cup, right? And I will add some glossy accents, like I said. Whoops, am I adding the muzzle now? I'm adding the muzzle now. There you have it. And isn't that sweet? So cute. And then I will pop up his little hands. And like I said, I do cover this in glossy accents afterwards, just so it looks like a glass. So there you have it. But you could make it any color you'd like, right? I'm kind of going with the movie, because you know I love that movie. Okay, so now I'm going to add some glossy accents to this because then I'm making sure there's no bubbles because you know I'm crazy that way and I'm just going to finish up here now be aware that glossy accents will warp vellum a little bit but it doesn't bother me I don't mind the texture of that um, it kind of gives it a little bit of movement right lots of fun and you do have to put this aside and forget about it a while I do use the glossy accents on the snowman nose um, and the um, gnome snowman nose just for a little bit of shine and isn't that sweet so cute and then you can have your little one that looks like cousin eddie holding it so that is also thank you so much for stopping by be sure to hop on over to the jada blossom blog be inspired the jada blossom store to maybe get your hands on these amazing products they are so darn cute people perfect for winter right you can just make winter cards or christmas cards but like winter cards certainly winter birthday cards how cute would that be but that is all I love putting these gnomes together and 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 if you have any of these gnomes already in your repertoire you're going to want to add get these add-ons because they're so much darn fun I love creating with them and that is all so thank you so much for stopping by and hopefully we will see you soon in my next video bye everyone